Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss on update from Class Monitor. We as parents wish that one day our child is going to come to us and tell us, Mom, I don't wish to attend the party or I don't want to watch the movie or don't want your mobile phone for any kind of games. Rather, I would want to complete reading my book because I'm too keen to know what happened next. Isn't that going to be a dream come true? So today our session is all about how to inculcate reading habit in our children. I have two beautiful daughters who are ardent readers now. My older one got this habit very easily, but I had to put in a little effort for my little one to start this habit. So here I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks to inculcate this habit. So I've broken this session into two parts. One, how to inculcate the reading habit in our children. And the second, how to choose the right kind of books for your children. To start with the first point, which is very, very important. Practice, don't preach. I'm sure you all must have noticed that our children are big copycats. They love to imitate whatever that you do, whether you're chopping vegetables, dusting, mopping, or doing literally anything in the house. Your children love to do that. So why not make the most of this? So if you want your child to read, you will have to read first. So anything that you would want to inculcate in your child, you need to set an example for your child first. So start reading if you want to see your child reading. Coming to the second point, that is to have a reading corner, which is very, very close to my heart because this is something that I have done for my children, passed on the message to thousands of moms and they've all come up saying that it really, really worked for them. So what is this reading corner basically? Reading corner is basically to have a small cozy place somewhere in your house, of course not your bedroom, not the study table, a small dedicated place for your child where your child can sit and read. So you can make it a little fancy, little decorative, little attractive so that your child will get fascinated to come and sit there. So all that you have to do is stack up some books for your child, stack up some books for yourself. So let me share my experience with you, how I started this with my child. So when my daughter was almost two and a half or so, I one day went to my husband and just told him, come on, let's go and read. Making myself loud and clear, but not inviting my daughter to come along. So the two of us went there, sat there in that cozy place, picked up a book for ourselves, read and my daughter just followed us to know what was happening. We made sure that we are not telling her to come and sit with us or to read. All that we did was read to ourselves. She used to come, sit there, pick up a book, flip pages, leave it and go. She could not sit with us for more than five minutes. We did this for 15 days. And the 16th day, she managed to sit there with us for that entire hour with a book, whether she was reading it or asking me to read it out, whatever. From that day till date, not a single day that they have slept without reading a book. Third is interesting content. The child needs to have interest in the content. It should be so interesting that the child should not get distracted by anything else. The text needs to be bold and the illustrations need to be colorful. Fourth point is start early as soon as possible. In fact, you should start reading to your child from the time your child is in the womb. But even if you haven't started, you can start from the time your child is three months old. Coming to the next point, it should be an everyday activity. You should set a routine for your child so that your child sits with you every single day and reads at least for an hour. And the routine can be set with your child from the time he's at least 10 months old. Now coming on to investment in books. We should make it a point to visit bookstores with our children on a regular basis. Let your child choose books for themselves. It's okay to tell them that this is not the right kind of book for you. You can read this when you grow up. Take your child to the section where he can get age appropriate books and let them choose for themselves also. You can also take a membership of a good library, which is really going to be helpful. Next, repetition is the key. With such young children, you need to keep repeating the stories again and again and again for them to understand it better. Rather, whenever you're reading a book to them, make sure that you give a pause wait for them to complete the sentence because they know the story now make it more interactive like i said leave the sentences in between wait for them to complete wait to understand whether they've understood the story or not next reading together versus reading alone we highly recommend that you should give the child some space to read on their own as well you do not need to monitor at all times 
Of course, it is a good habit to read with your child, but giving them their space is also very important. You never know your child might come up with something new, something that you might have not observed in that book. Your child might come out with the book telling you that, Mama, did you observe that Peppa Pig is brushing his teeth in the morning as well as in the night? Probably that was not a part of the story. So let your child explore and find out something new on his own as well. Very important, let them enjoy the process. Every book is going to give you some knowledge, going to give you some life lessons. That is absolutely fine. But that is not it. Let them enjoy reading that book. Let them develop that love for that book. Let that book be the source of entertainment, source of joy for your child. Let them develop the kind of relationship with that book. Because with your guidance, your child is going to become a reader later in life. So this is it for today's session. I hope you enjoyed this. So our next topic for our next session is going to be hand dominance. So stay tuned for our sessions with Class Monitor.